Welcome back to another edition of Stay Healthy, y'all. I'm Denise. And I'm Jennifer. And what are we making today, Jennifer? Today we are making a white bean and tuna salad. It's tuna time. It's tuna time. Can we take a second before we get into it and talk about what makes us the healthy part of Stay Healthy, y'all? Let's yeah. start with the tuna. So tuna is nutrient-dense. It has a pretty long shelf life, right? Healthy-wise, it has it's high in vitamin BAD because tuna is... Tuna's a baddie. Tuna's a baddie. We're officially sponsored by tuna now, y'all. We are, yes. Um, it's high in omega-3s, which is actually great for inflammation and lowering blood pressure. What else is good about tuna? Um, I don't know if you mentioned how good it is for us protein wise. And I know that this is a five ounce can and that just two ounces of tuna is 20% of the protein you should get every day, right? Yes, it is super high in protein. So we were joking a little bit, but it kind of is a baddie. Like it's it almost one of those, I won't call it a super food, but it is one of those foods that can really help us eat healthy and balanced and very easy. Yeah. So like you said, it's shelf stable. So you come home one night, you're not sure what to make for dinner. Tuna's there. And then this is kind of one of those a little healthier takes on the tuna salad that we might all know and honestly love where we do tuna and mayo and throw it on a piece of bread. But this time we're talking about, you know, pairing it with beans and some onions, parsley, a little bit of spice, whether that be the red pepper flakes or Tabasco and lemon juice, making it a little lighter, but still filling and still delicious, right? All right, well, why don't we start assembling it? Because then I'd really like to talk a little bit about, we all know I love beans, right? If you know me, you know that we eat a lot of beans. I think it's a great way to get protein and fiber. I do, I talk about it a lot. We eat a lot of beans at my house, okay? So, but it's a really great way to add some fiber and protein and iron into your diet and a way to kind of stretch meals, which I think is important when we're talking about being budget conscious too, right? So what's the best way that you can take something that's shelf stable and stretch it, you add some beans in, right? Yeah, absolutely. It's it's healthy for you, high in protein, and honestly, everything on here are kind of staples in your pantry. All right, well, let's make this bean salad. Okay, how much we got? So we have two five ounce cans of tuna, right? If you wanna start putting those in there. And then we have two cans of white beans. These are great northern white beans, right? And we kind of already highlighted it, but I do want to point out that beans, they all, every kind of bean kind of has a different benefit, but most beans are high in fiber, um, high in protein, and again, a great way to get a little bit more variety into your diet and stretch, stretch your meal a little bit. Yeah, beans are actually a good replacement for meat. Yes, they're an excellent source of protein. Yep. So we're gonna take these two cans that we already have ready in the bowls and put those in as well. And then this is one red onion diced. Uh, yep. A cup, one cup. So we're gonna put that in as well. I'm really excited about you zesting that lemon. Are you? I am, <laughs> I, I don't know why. All right, well I'm gonna zest the lemon and then we also need to cut the lemon and juice some in here yes. as well, correct? So let's zest that in next. So zest the lemon. This is where we use our imagination and pretend like this is going really well, okay? It's zest. There is zest in there. If you want a quick close up, there's some lemon zest in there. It wasn't my prettiest zesting, but it works. And I think that's one of the things when we talk about making healthy meals, sometimes we also think like, oh, I don't have the right equipment or, oh, I don't have this, or sometimes it really is just information, right? So we make it work. Always. And now we need to cut the lemon and juice it into there? Yes. Okay. I swear my hands are really clean, guys. Don't rub your eyes. Ooh, I've never thought about doing that afterwards, but that probably oh, hurts. It's a squirt. <laughs> it's a squirt in your eye? <laughs> okay, so now that we've juiced our lemon in there, I shot you in the eye a little bit with it. I'm so sorry. We're gonna go ahead and add the parsley in here as well, right? So, toss the parsley in there. Look, it's coming together all nice. It's starting to get a little colorful, which is really nice too. We've talked about this before, but it's really important that we eat the rainbow and eat our colors, because those are important. And then I think we just need to decide what kind of heat we're looking for. Yes, so we're spice it up with crushed red peppers or a Tabasco sauce. Let's go with the Tabasco sauce. Just a couple of drops, right? Yeah. We don't want it to be That's too kind spicy. Of too taste. Sometimes it doesn't want to come out, so we improvise again. I saw a drop. Okay, there we go, that's perfect. Do you guys ever cook at home and you pretend like you're on a cooking show? Because I never have until this happened, and I never think about how many things kind of go wrong sometimes, right? But I feel like um, it is mixed up really well. Looks really nice, looks fresh. Mm -hmm. Smells very lemony, which is also good. What's next, just taste testing it? Just taste test. 
All right, so as in with all Stay Healthy Y'alls, it's now over until we get a taste test. So we have Trisha to taste test the tuna white bean salad. Dig in. I cut the onion myself. <laughs> I juiced the lemon myself, I guess. It is pretty delicious though, right? And it's easy. We also have been trying to focus this time on how it's shelf stable. So it's something you can always have in your cabinet and still make a healthy meal. So white beans and tuna are something you can keep for years. The apocalypse could happen and tuna would still be there for you. All right, I think they, it's two thumbs up, guys. Yay. Until next time, stay healthy, y'all.